Hello, it's your boy J4Peace back with another video and today we're going to be looking at looking at some new white beard gameplay and um, and also kind of like a character review as well because I'm going to be talking about white beard in this video, there's weaknesses and everything but before we get into it please like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications bell for more content, if you guys want to join my discord link in the description, if you guys want to join my second channel link in the description as well. Now guys um i have a lot to talk about Ca counters and everything and i don't have every single counter i'm still playing i'm still playing white beard and stuff but um i'm gonna ma definitely make a, a a counter tier list against him very soon and i was supposed to make a summoning video but um i couldn't i couldn't make a summoning video because i was i was very up late and white beard ended up coming out so i was like oh, you know what <clears throat> let me just get him got him summon on him and boom 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 i was able to use him so first let's look at this gameplay here so <clears throat> as you can see my i got my boy white beard i am using a basic fujitora and corazon set i'm i did not use um well there's other sets you can use in my opinion i would recommend a skill one cooldown metal set this is just the first metal set that came into mind for me i want i only tried a tanky build um i think he's pretty decent in this build i think i would recommend you more of a skill one oriented skills metal set because that's what he that's what he that's what um that's what he depends on the most so you want to do skill one the most you know what i'm saying and uh yeah so I just use a Fujitora and Corazon Metal Set, and um, it uses this. Uh, so this skill here, if you have a, uh, if you have a Death Wish, it's an invisible skill. It gives you temporary invisibility. Very very good. But I think, in my opinion, this is his best skill. Um, I think it's his. Uh, was it a skill one? Was that a skill one? Yeah. This is uh, that is his best skill. This is this is the skill that keeps you alive. Skill one, because you're invisible and whatever. Now, this skill hits every single treasure area. He's like Blue Kaido. Okay, he's a stronger version. He's a way stronger version of Blue Kaido. And basically, you know how Blue Kaido has that dragon for black dragon move, right? And uh, he has this tremor move. Now, the thing about this move is that. It depends on how good your teammates are and that's what this that's what that's what i'm going to talk about white beard that's how i'm going to talk about white beard now white beard the thing about white beard for me is that he depends on his teammates so i, was, I have heard people say call him mid or whatever recently um blue white beard depends on his teammates you understand white beard depends on his teammates um the way this meta functions now of how i've played a few of these games already uh you your teammate if you're playing with a white beard or you're using white beard you're, you need to hope that your team gets that first flag that, that middle flag okay because the the games where i the games where we didn't get the flag we end up losing that game now i think we end up losing the flag in this game but we somehow get it back at the last second because i end up clutching it at the last second um for my team but as you can see my team they're gonna do their thing a little bit like we got the flag or whatever but then we're gonna end up losing the flag later on now you want to make sure that you you're always charging the flag you, you you stay as a defender you, you 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 play your role as a defender and that's your main goal as for white bird you want to play your role you want to be the the your defender but you also have to depend on your teammates which is kind of the sad thing as you see i'm fighting the the, the gear five luffy he was pretty tough a little bit he's pretty t kind of tough you know what i'm saying uh so as you, as you can see i'm immune to status effect well i well i get status affected but only 80 percent you know yeah so if you if you hit your opponent at close range with that with that uh, po uh pull move, you will be able to damage them. Um, I couldn't do two gameplays because my recording was fucked up. You know, I recorded early in the morning, so you know I was just like, ah, I guess one gameplay is good enough. And you know, this gameplay was the best 
thing. I had a I had a lot of other great games with Whitebeard. I've had some very good games uh as well. As you see I killed the gear five Luffy, but see look we lose the flag. And you can't really do anything because remember you're a defender, so you can't you there's only so much you could do. Now I try to do some stuff here. I don't think I got killed once I end up helping them. Is we you know uh Shanks he's Shanks is your ba ba your main problem, bro. That's why in in, in in this team here, I actually use Whitebeard and Yace because I wanted to handle the Shanks just in case if I got KO'd. Shanks is your main problem, bro, in this meta. That's it. Shanks is your main problem um, and your teammates. Your teammates need to your teammates need to get that middle flag. It is mandatory for them to get that middle flag. If they don't get that middle flag, your team's destined to lose. Like, literally. And... It's, 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 it, it's, it's kind of, I think, I, I'm actually happy about that because it doesn't make Whitebeard overly, overly broken. You understand? It doesn't make Whitebeard overly, overly overpowered. And, yeah, you see, I, I, I end up uh, tremoring the, the Luffy. And, of course, we're, we're about to get this last flag at the last minute. I think this video cuts off at the last minute as well. Yeah, we win. We beat we, we and we beat them. So yeah, so we we won. You know, and uh, yeah, man. So that is enough for the videos today. That is enough for the video today. Well, my overall review. Well, before I end the video, sorry. But my overall review for him, I'd if I was to rate him, I'd give him an eight point nine out of ten. So. I wouldn't say he's a 9 out of 10, but he's an 8.9. Just for the fact that you have to depend on your teammates. It's kind of a... It's kind of it's kind of sad, bro. You kind of depend on your teammates. But at the same time, it's pretty good because um, Whitebeard's not overly broken. He's not overpowered. Um, He's just very powerful. Like how he's supposed to be. Like how Bandai designs every EX. And that's how he's supposed to be. He's not supposed to be another film Red Shanks. You know, he's supposed to be a very powerful EX, and that's about it. Now, I know we're going to get counters very soon. I'm going to make a video, actually, a tier list video on which characters could be a light and dark element in the upcoming future. So, I will make a video about that as well, and a tier, and a tier list on who can counter Whitebeard. So, stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, very, very, coming very, very, very soon. And, uh, yeah, man. Uh, that's about it. Um, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think about Whitebeard? Do you guys do you guys feel like he's really good? Do you guys feel like he's trash? Do you guys feel like he he's just gonna change up the meta? I think he's changed the meta a lot. He's very very powerful, um, but I think there will be counters and stuff. If you guys don't have enough gems, and you don't guys play the defender role like that, I recommend you guys not to summon on Whitebeard. Please, just we say for his counter. Um, if you guys, I'm, I'm being dead serious. If you guys don't like using the defender and you and you want to summon on Whitebeard, but you don't have enough gems for it, don't summon on Whitebeard, please. Unless he's your favorite, 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 favorite character, and you can't, you can't resist, then go for it. But I wouldn't recommend it. You need to be a defender player to you don't know how to use Whitebeard, and you're gonna have to be willing to sacrifice your own uh, playing style. Um playing style like that means trying to get the treasure and everything for for using the defender white beard because you have to play your defender role as white beard at all costs so yeah man anyway stay safe stay blessed and uh yeah peace